Now let's see what this reduce method requires here. So this reduce method requires the object of binary operator. So let's create object of binary operator now. So somewhere here we'll say binary operator. So again binary operator is a in interface which is defined in which is which is in a package function. So it is introduced in Java 1.8 and we'll say the object name is B and we'll say new binary operator. Now if you see it's uh, definition it only accepts one integer value so it's it takes one integer value and it, it returns one integer value okay so we'll say it is it accepts the integer and define a function here because it's an interface we have to provide a definition and let's see which method this binary operator has now if you see binary operator function uh, this interface it's a functional interface okay and it's extends by function interface and in this interface you don't have any method which is declared so you can see you don't have any method which is declared all the methods are defined uh, what if if I go to by function and you can see in by function we have a method which is apply which comes to this binary operator so the only method in this where we define is by function uh, this binary operator oh, sorry it is except is it accept? It's, yeah, it's apply. So it's a public, and the signature is it's it returns some value. We'll say that value return is int. Or it's integer, and it the method name is apply. It accepts our integer value. We'll say it is i, and what we need to do here is we need to add this number. So let's say we'll say int total, or uh, int result that we are, what we have done. In, the last video is we said int is a uh, result will be zero and every time you get a new value we'll say result equal to result plus i so this is what we it does in the in the background and we can return, simply say return result okay and i guess there's a problem here okay it's, it takes two parameters it takes two parameters okay it, it, it takes integer integer i and integer let's say j so we don't require this here what we'll do is we'll say uh, where's the code yeah, we, we will simply return i plus j the remaining part will be the remaining thing will be handled by your uh, JDK. We can simply say return i plus j. So every time it takes two values and it will add. So how it works here? Let's say if I pass the object of b here. So how it works? So initially, I'm still getting an error. Error is object cannot be converted into stream. Reduce what reduce returns. Uh oh, reduce returns. It will not return a stream. It will return a int value. We'll say int. Uh, let's say int result equal to so this returns a integer value it's an integer value so we'll say integer and we'll just cast it here we'll say it is integer okay so this reduce returns an object which you can convert into integer part now how it works so this map will take all the values from 1 to 6 and it will map it to to uh, will multiply each number with 2 so this stream here will take all the values. This will take all the values and apply reduce. Uh, it will apply a reduce function. Now in this reduce, what we are getting is so your values are so after mapping your value will be four or uh, two, four, eight, ten, uh, twelve, and uh, we'll have this six numbers here. I'm missing some number. Uh, I'm missing six. Yeah. So you have this six number here. So initially it will take 2 and 0. So 2 plus 0 is 2. So this 0 and this 2 will go to this function as i and j. It will fetch the value. It will calculate it as 2. Then that 2 plus this 4, it is 6. Then 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 8, which is 20. 20 plus 10, which is 30. 30 plus 12 is 42. Let's 
uh, let's print the value of result here. So we'll simply say result. And if I run this, you can see the answer is 42. Now this is how your stream API works. So what we have done is we have created multiple objects. We created an object function. Uh, we have created an object of function interface. We have created an object of binary, binary interface. Now, uh, how can you make this code more efficient? Now we'll make this code more efficient in the next part of the tutorial.